Might just set your questions on the game. Your team made it difficult in the first half, or certainly didn't take their chances, but found their cutting edge. Yeah, I, th I thought we played well first half, but as you say, we were we were wasteful. I think we played miles better first half than the second half, uh, but we scored. And in games like this, you just need a first goal to settle any doubt, and then spaces will come and it'll flow more. But I thought we uh, we did okay actually. They've they've kept a clean sheet against Palace and Tottenham, and we knew they were going to be hard to break down. So uh, in the end, it's uh, first time they really went for it, had a chance, counter-attack and uh, of course that settled uh, settled everything. And that was a bizarre thing, the first time they showed any signs of ambition. Yeah. To get the goal and they didn't never look back from that. But I was really happy with, because uh, sometimes a game, in games like this you don't take those opportunities. There won't be many. It was the first time we had, had one and we really went for it. Great pass by uh, Nemanja, great finish by Marcus, but Sergio, Sergio's intent of going forward was the, the key. Well, I saw, saw you saying that uh, about the first half on Norwegian TV, which caused a bit of a reaction because it's a bit surprising to hear when you scored yeah. three goals in the second half. Can you just explain more uh, why you think the first half was better? I thought we took our foot off the pedal. We didn't press them. We, we let them have the ball. We, uh, we uh, started make, uh, making decisions that we uh, we didn't norm we don't normally do we wanted to beat men when there's no space tried to shoot uh, from uh, not the right distances and it was it's about learning uh, decision making all the time and of course missing chances that can happen uh, like we did in the first half but still we we prodded we, we were patient we probed and we created chances Holly, how do you see the final? fantastic days in manchester so uh, of course, we uh, we do really respect them, and as I said after the game uh, at the derby last time, it's in my opinion the best team in England. Uh, they can out football you, so we need to uh, get our ga game heads on and be ready for them again. But we've we've shown them as well that we could uh, we can cause them problems. So I think there'll be two fantastic games. Marcus has got 14 goals this season. I don't think it's his best United in yeah. a single season. Yeah. Is there a new aim for him now? Or? Yeah, there'll, there'll be more. Uh, but I, I was really, really pleased with him today because he kept on. Uh, he kept his body language. He, he, they kept kicking him, but he, he got up. He, he played. He ran. He, he had chances. He made movements. He was a leader by uh, by the way he acted today, way the way he played. Um, good goal and a very good run for uh, and set he set up uh, Anthony for his goal so very pleased with uh, Marcus uh, and he knows that uh, when that those two or three chances he has first half when they go in as well he'll he'll really but that'll come it'll definitely come Just Ollie, your, uh, sorry <laughs> man it of course uh, we're we're in a good place. Uh, we have the momentum is there at the moment. We're we're taking steps forward. Sometimes, yeah, it's a step backwards. Uh, you can say that uh, a couple of draws we've had, but if you look at the uh, the performances and the results we've had lately, uh, last eight nine games we've scored. If you take away Astana, which was a great experience anyway for the, for the kids with the last nine now, after we got beat against Bournemouth, we've won six, drawn three, scored loads of goals. Um, so we're on we're on the right track. After 12 months in charge, are United in a better position? Do you think? Um, well, I'm I'm not the right man. <laughs> Hopefully, we'll uh, we'll keep on improving. Uh, of course, you can look at the, the table and the points tally, and we were very similar to last season. But it's um, it's a decision we made of rebuilding. We're, we're a younger, more uh, pro, call it proactive squad, uh, hungrier squad. Uh, definitely, yeah, we're the youngest squad in the Premier League, and it's uh, it's a it's a joy to work with. It was a joy when I came a year ago as well. Of course, don't get me wrong, but. Uh, Sometimes you got to make decisions that you think is the right, are the right ones. And Ollie, any, any top team needs world class players. Is it too early to say that Marcus Rashford is elevating his game to that level? 
Well, what what is world class? What Marcus is developing and improving and getting better and better. He's got the potential to be a top class. We'll we'll get a world class player back very soon, and we've missed him, of course. So, we um, I'm sure we we'll, we will improve and Marcus will improve uh, in the next uh, few months. Is breaking down teams like you struggling to do in the first half against Colchester? Is that the biggest challenge for, for this team? Because you're already seeing against the big the big sides. More you can get today, today the challenge was scoring goals because we, we broke them down. We created chances enough. It's just about the quality in the in the finish. But of course, that's if we can add that to our to the team, that we could uh, dominate and create chances and be more clinical, ruthless. That's that's another uh, step forward for us because there's been many games that we we've dominated but we haven't won. But we deserve to win. But you don't really deserve to win if you don't score. If you know what I mean. So um, we've got to develop that quality in the in the box. Can you develop that? Then? Yeah. That you can develop? Yeah. Definitely. Uh, there, there's hunger there. They they want to. They do extras. We uh, with the strikers all the time. I was trying to hold Marcus back yesterday because he was wanting to do extra. It was two days after a game. It's a day before a game, but he was still on the training ground practicing and that will come, It'll we're getting better and better. Because the fact that you did, didn't win the League Cup as a player, I mean of course it's important to win the first trophy as a team and everything, but personally does no. it give you like a No, <laughs> no I'd, ra I'd rather win the Champions League to be fair, but that's, <laughs> uh, it's, uh, it's a trophy, it's a, it's a cup we're in and we, we want to win every, the, every tournament we're in and we, we're now in with a chance, two games and we're in the final. We've got a chance to get into the final. Sorry. What you did to City the other week, um, and it was, I think, Jim Carrey was the best he'd seen anyone play against City. Um, is this a, is the last thing you want to draw them straight away? You know, just beat them. I don't know. Uh, we'll see. Uh, we've looked at that game, and yet we're very pleased with the result and parts of that game. There's things that we need to do so much better. First ten minutes, I was like, you close your eyes and you think we've just got to hang in there. So we've got to stamp our authority more on them. It's not many that can, can do, but we have to aim for that and we've got to strive for that. And I don't think he'll beat City uh, twice in a row or three times with the same same tactic. So we'll, we'll have to try to do something uh, better than we did last time, I think, because I'm sure Pep will, uh, will definitely have his team fired up. Okay, guys, thank you. Okay, thanks. See you Friday. Already. <laughs> Already. Can't wait. Man, did you get that?